Microfusion cell. Button's wig? What, what does that do? Uh, oh my god, look at that. Plus five barter, intellect, and speech? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, so we could wear Button's wig with Naughty Nightwear. Uh, and that means we could be very convincing. Welcome back, everybody, to Fallout on the Tale of Two Wastelands Overhaul with the Capital Punishment Modulus. I'm the Bearded OG. It, uh, we are picking up right where we left off in the last episode, where we are in the National Archives. I have Sydney as a follower now. I don't know if she becomes a permanent follower or she's just for this, uh, you know, this part of the, the quest. I, I have noticed, though, that if I crouch, I can then actually access her inventory. Um, she doesn't seem to have, she's got a bunch of armor piercing rounds, but she doesn't seem to have a weapon unless her weapon, she's supposed to have like some kind of ultra 10 millimeter SMG or something. Uh, it doesn't appear in the list though. So maybe it's just hidden so the player can't take it from her. I hope that's the case because the thing is, is she seems to just have her fists out, uh, and not have a weapon. One thing we could try if we gave her. Let's just loan her. Look what we have here. Where? You like that? Um, okay. <laughs> what what the hell? <laughs> okay, apparently me giving her a weapon was translated as me trying to pickpocket her. Sydney? Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it. I've got one of these. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right, we're going to have to reload. I wasn't expecting that to happen. That that also leads me to believe that um, she's... <clears throat> I don't think she's a, uh, a permanent follower. I think she's just here for doing this part of the quest. So, And her weapon must be... Um, like a you know a hidden weapon i just don't know why she doesn't have it out but whatever all right let's just go now when we came down here last time i got blown up and i don't know if it was because they had they threw a grenade at me or what the deal was but so what we're going to do this time take cover is i'm going to throw get the grenade away. at them get and then away. get away from there what why is that happening That's exactly what happened last time. I threw a grenade at them and then I got blown up. I don't get it. Take cover. Let's like run way out here. Okay, there must, <clears throat> excuse me, there must be some other explosives maybe underneath the floor that I was too near. It's the only thing I can think of. And of course, that doesn't really make sense. The floor should either be destroyed by the explosives or block, shield me from them. But since when does this shit ever make sense, right? Okay, he's dead. I hear the... Still hear the centaur. The frag grenade. There he is right there. Alright, centaur's down. So yeah, we're just at at the moment, I'm just kind of exploring the upper area of the archives before we go down into the basement where the Don't even think about it. Declaration of Independence is supposed to be. I hear another centaur.
This is just the same hallway that we came down right. Okay. Right there in front of you. Okay. Help me. Where? Lady, you're kind of worthless. I'm watching you. Yeah, you are, and you're not doing a damn thing to help, either. Non-fiction. There's an average safe. Can't open it right now. Take the five mil rounds. Oh, oh shit. Come on. Pay more attention to what you're doing. Yeah, you're right. I should have on that one. <laughs> uh, okay. Ow. Scrap metal. door to the mall. Oh. Okay, that goes outside. Oh, ouch. Alright. There's traps in here, OG. How about maybe paying attention? Fuck. <laughs> take me anywhere, man. Let's take all those expired stim packs. Now we're more alert. Game's over. Flank them. What do you think you're doing? Picking up a frag grenade? What do you think you're doing? Close that door for a minute. Take the darts. Here's another centaur over that way. Nope, don't want that. Did we... I think we came through there, didn't we? No, we haven't been back here. Take the cherry bomb. We can use those to make nuka grenade or nuka mines, nuka cola mines, something like that. Have we been over through here? Yeah, I think we came through there and went around that way. That's where I stepped on the fucking uh, frag mine. Oh, I've got limb damage. Damn. Okay. Um, let's apply... Splints to those. There we go. That trap was already tripped. Okay. Cut it out.
That trap is... It looks like it's been tripped, but it hasn't. That would hurt, man. A big old engine like that swinging down from the ceiling and then we're smashing into you. A couple broken ribs at least. All right, the centaur is way over that way. I don't think I'll take even any of that stuff. First aid box, very easy. Good, we need that stuff. So we have the propensity to hurt ourselves all the time. Get another bandage. It's a lunch box. Darts and a medical brace. What's the VW on the medical brace? It's five. Eh. It's not that great. VW is not good on these, but we need that those things for other for crafting uh, weapon kits, so they're valuable in a, a different kind of way. So, I guess tripping this isn't going to do anything now, because that's already been knocked down, maybe from the explosives earlier. Not a good idea. Easy ammo box. Nice. We'll take the 45 rounds for sure. Oh, look at the nades. Nice. I like me some nades. Check that, right? Okay. So this goes back upstairs. Here's a combat shotgun. Just sitting on the shelf in the library. What do you know? And a bunch of 12 gauge rounds. Definitely take that stuff. We came in here. Yeah, we've been in here. We just didn't go that direction. Okay, I think we've covered. Hey, be more careful. The entire ground floor and bottom uh, lower floor. Where did I? Here we go. So let's go do this upper floor. How did I miss those? I don't really want any of that other stuff. Uh, come back this way. Alright, now let's go upstairs. out into the rotunda average safe administrator Berkeley's terminal so I got an average lock guess that's all we can do upstairs wait a minute though how okay how then did there's got to be a way to get upstairs on this side Yeah, here we go. It's 
So we did kill a couple of these guys earlier that were up here. That does not mean there aren't more. Yeah, this guy and the super mutie that dropped down below. Three oh eights, yes, baby. I'll take all the three oh eights in the whole world. Nice. Not a good idea. HG Psycho Nap Mine. What in the actual F is that? Doesn't hardly do any damage. But it seems to suggest maybe it's a knockout mine. <laughs> Weird. All right, we'll try it at some point, see what it does. I believe we are finished looting the main floors here of the archives. So Sydney said that the lift was in the middle of the rotunda. Okay. This is the middle of the rotunda. Ooh. Nice. I think I've picked up all the mines oh, in here, on. but pay more attention to what you're doing. Not 100% positive. Okay, so let's talk to her again. What's up? What's our next move? There's a cargo lift right here in the rotunda. It should take us directly down to the lower levels. I was hacking the system right before we were attacked. The code should be, we the people. I am getting... Okay, cargo lift right in the middle of the rotunda. This is the rotunda. This is the middle of the rotunda. Uh, I'm missing something. Oh. Oh, here we go. Unlocked rotunda cargo lift access archives current contracts. Access blocked. Unlock rotunda cargo lift. Override enabled. Ah, there we go. Secret elevator to archival secure wing east. Wow. Okay, I hear machinery running. The question is, which way do we go first? Let's go this way first. Door to archives sub basement. Okay, hold on then. What's this say? Men, today I address you with a message of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been breached and soon we'll engage the enemy. Remember, the will of the people is the only legitimate foundation of any government, and to protect its free expression should be our first object. As your leader, Button Gwinnett, distinguished representative of Georgia, I promise you I have not yet begun to fight. So why haven't you begun to fight? Get off your ass and do something. Anyway, okay. They kept the declaration in the archive strongroom that's at the end of the east wing here. 
We'll have to make our way to it. Okay, so what's the difference between here and that door over there? I don't know. Let's just go this way. Men, we can't let the enemy's progress dissuade us from our task. We must defend our freedom and our right to be independent. Pulse slugs. Strike now and strike hard. You may delay, but time will not be killing things. You may want to run now. Oh shit. Help me! Where? Wow. Okay. So it takes more than one pulse slug to take those guys down and they fucking hurt. Goodness. Antiseptic. Bunch of expired stim packs. Um, and now we have a crippled limb again, too. Uh, no, I don't want to use the doctor's bag. Um, let's see. Aid. Splint. Okay, yeah. We're gonna have to really put the hurt on these guys. There's all sorts of shortcuts through maintenance doors and utility gates to bypass security. If you can get through them. Oh. Okay, that's good to know. Also, I don't think we want to be firing our weapon in here. I'm surprised what do you it didn't. Think you're doing? I'm surprised it didn't already blow up. Huh. Whoops. My knowledge of science is not enough. Okay, so we're going to have to go this way. <clears throat> an average locked door. That's handy. Pulse mines. Oh man, there's a lot of good stuff here. Free more money. There's a wrench. Exit signs. Uh, yeah, we'll take all that. Laser pistol. Look where you're going. Energy cell. Why does this place have so many cash registers? Oh Shut shit. Up, that one. <laughs> okay. We the thing is is we can't Yeah, get your ass over here, Sydney. We can't fire in these rooms because of the gas. Oh shit. So let's do this. Um pulse mine. Okay, Sydney, get over here. You can't hide from me. Uh, don't be stupid, yeah. Sydney. Looks like this is mine. Get up here, Sydney. All right, let's wait for him to come around the corner. Sydney, you're so stupid. Oh shit, he's come right there. On, come on, people, I need a target. Over here. Oh, can he not get through that door? Sydney? That's why I don't like followers in these games. They're so fucking stupid. Get hey. your ass up here. Found you. Just made my day. Hey. Hit, hit the mine. Hit the mine, please. I don't know why that mine didn't go off. I mean, he's like right on top of it. What the hell?
All right, let's do an antiseptic, a bandage, and how about a preserved blood pack? Okay, this is the room he was guarding. Bandage is worn off. Uh, yeah, okay. More pulse mites. Nice, even though they don't seem to work. I think Sydney was screwing that up, though. All right, what do we have here? We'll take both of those. And... All of that. Do a pulse mine here. Please. You know what you're doing there? Say so okay, so he's not coming around the corner. Do pulse mines set off gas leaks? Lady, if you get yourself killed, that's on you. Put down your weapons and submit to authority. Come back hey. here, Sydney, and let yeah, let the right mine take care of him. That worked. Okay, so one pulse mine takes out a protect protectron. Maybe not the more dangerous bots, but at least we know we can take them out with that. Nothing in here. Oh, it oh right shit! Let's see if we can draw him over here. Can you take one of your stem packs, please, Sydney? Warning. Dangerous fugitive is on the list. Beautiful. Give me those scrap electronics. Let's go poke our head in here. Take a quick look see. According to the plans, the turret generator is somewhere in this room. You we say it and it should make our lives easier. Turret generator? Okay. Got a whole bunch of filing cabinets that we can go check. Um let's go down through here first though. can't get that way okay all these gas leaks are making firing your weapon down here very dangerous okay so she gate she said there was a turret generator in this room and also she gave us the hint to watch out for turrets which we haven't encountered yet in this building That. 
Everybody keeps their cigarettes in their filing cabinet. Okay, turret generator, activate, disable. I pull up the maintenance panel on the turret generator. All right, we don't have to worry about turrets now. <coughs> Excuse me, okay. enemy to penetrate our defenses any deeper. Old glory must not be stained with the blood of tyranny. The enemy will be here soon. You must defend your leader. Remember, our cause is noble. It is the cause of mankind. Sounds to me like it's your cause. Can't go that way. Can't go that way. Oh shit, that's one of those guys. Sydney, get away from that thing. He's super dangerous. Alright, let's see if we can do a pulse nade on him. Okay, you know what? What's up? I want you to uh are you hurt? It's only a scrap. Fix it. Here here, take wait, what? Wait, does that take one of mine or one of hers? Thanks. I'll use it right away. What the hell? You have your own stim packs. I have a question for you. How in the hell have you survived all this time? <laughs> What's up? You're not very bright. Uh, anyway, okay. Uh, wait here. Sure thing. But don't get too far ahead of me. I won't, but just stay here because I don't want you screwing around with this robot. He's no joke. We'll give us some time to lay some pulse mines. He came... Wait, where did he come from? Oh shit, okay, here. Wait, that... Hostiles detected. Continue. Okay, uh, now let's grab a pulse grenade. Whew. Okay, got him. I saw another Mr. Handy floating around down there. Oh shit, now we're encumbered. Okay. We can't be encumbered. Uh, and I... I... Admit, I need to do a little bit better job of being more realistic about getting encumbered too. I know I said that before, but I need to do better. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is, is see if I can turn off the setting that allows me to use action points when I'm encumbered, because that just kind of helps me cheat a little more. Let's get rid of the paperweight. And then... Okay, anything here like heavy as shit, that... That's just got too good of a VW to throw out. I don't even know what that uses for, but it doesn't have weight anyways. That's got a good VW. We can't we're not throwing out any of these things because we need them for weapon repair kits. We don't have any apparel, so it seems to me like most of our weight's probably in all in extra weapons that we've picked up. Okay, so that's got a 7.5 VW. Let's get rid of it. Let's say anything under 10 will, will drop.
grenade machine gun. What the actual F? I didn't even realize I had a grenade machine gun. That's insane. Okay, we can't get rid of that. That's too unique. Yeah, see all of the... Uh, this is right at 10. Let's drop that one too. I accidentally picked up a rebar club. I don't know why I'm carrying this detonator with me. I'm going to... I don't want to get rid of it, though, because I'm not sure what it is or what I need it for. If at all. So I'm going to keep it, but I'm going to put it back when we go back to the home. I'm going to store it. I'm not going to keep carrying it with me. Okay, so that lightened us up a bit. Let's just go with that for now. Kind of hate to throw that away, but it's really not very valuable. Okay, so uh, we have a Mr. Handy down here that was flying by that way. There he is right there. Okay, a bunch more filing cabinets. Okay, let's wait for him to pat back around. Actually, here, I'm going to loot while I'm waiting for him. Solve a tall bottle caps in 32 rounds. I've seen him go by there like two or three times now, so he should be coming back around. Oh, there's a, a protre, uh, protectron. You have gained the tour of duty perk. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means, but I gained it. Oh shit, he's coming. Getting low on five five six ammo. How many pulse slugs do I have? I got ten. Seems like the enemies down here are all robotic. These doors we couldn't get into. Effective. I just wish we had more of those. I have a huge amount of 308 AP rounds. Our uh, sniper rifle's obviously not a close range weapon, but it could work at a pinch if we had to. And actually, you know what? I think I have a fair amount of 10 millimeter. And we got these P rounds too, which does have some armor piercing capability. Oh, wait a second. Why does. Why does that say I only have 98 in the lower right hand corner? But this says I've got 148. Oh, never mind. 
Yeah, it's it's counting what I also have in the magazine. Never mind. Okay. Another one of these rooms. Well, this would have been a, a good mission to wait until we had better lockpicking skill, but I didn't know that, so it is what it is. And that's not to say we couldn't come back some point either if we wanted to. All right, let's grab Sydney and keep moving here. What's up? Let's go. Stay focused. Did we go... I don't think we went this way, but it looks like it just leads around to the same spot. Yeah. The enemy is at the gates. Now is the time for the greatest of rallying cries. Wish not so much to live long as to live well. All right. Um, let's go here. And... Take a blood pack just to top off. All right, you ready for this, Sydney? Let's do a quick save. Oh, sh shite. Uh, I'm watching oh, you. this is that you've button guy. You've defenses, evaded our best soldiers, and you've raided my home. Okay. But I have not yet begun to fight. I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. Okay. The declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope. The one thing that cries out, we are a free nation. Except for that you don't have a nation any longer. It disappeared like over 200 years ago. Uh, just what? Yeah, who are you exactly? Why, I am Button Quinnett. Second signer of the Declaration of Independence and distinguished representative from Georgia. Are you now? Okay. <laughs> I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. Well, uh, if it comes to that, yeah, you're probably going to be toast. Of course, I am a little bit concerned about your turrets. What will it be then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! How about a couple of pulse slugs right into your noggin? And I'll knock that damn wig off your head, too. Uh, all right, anyway, that's quite brave of you to potentially sacrifice your life over a document. Why would you do all that over a scrap of paper? You're not even human, you stupid bucket of bolts. I mean, that's kind of how I feel about it, but I don't want to be... I don't want to be rude. Uh, here, let's just go with this one. This is no mere document, sir. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George III of Great Britain. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Okay. Yeah, exactly. You do realize that was 500 years. It's 500 years later, right? <laughs> Petty lies and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crown. But I will not succumb to such tomfoolery. Right. Okay. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well, in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. Uh, no, you can't. There's more to this than you realize, Button. Please explain, but I warn you... I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat Spy. You do well to remember that. Okay. Redcoat Spy. Mm -hmm. Um, let me let's see. I'm Thomas Jefferson. Okay, he won't fall for that. You are right. I am a Redcoat Spy, and this place is surrounded by an army. Um, let me prove my honesty by helping you trick the Redcoats. I, uh, all right, yeah, let's go with that option. Interesting. I had a plan for just this sort of situation. 
Perhaps this will prove that you're here as an ally rather than an enemy. Okay. You could have, like, maybe told me that before you set all of your robot guard dogs on me. We create a forgery of the Declaration and send it off to Great Britain. It might be just the delay we need to get the document out of here safely. A, f a forgery, okay. I'd love to be at court when King George finds out he wasted all his resources gaining a forgery. Well, why does King George want the Declaration of Independence in the first place? Uh, not to mention that that was 500 years ago. We have to be cautious, though. The British scholars would recognize a poor duplicate almost immediately. Uh, how can we create a convincing forgery? Anything we can do to pull the wool over their eyes is a blow for freedom. Um, I've got it. We'll kill all... <laughs> We'll kill all the English soldiers. Uh, uh, how, okay, how do we do this forgery? If you were to bring me some iron gall ink, I could produce a mirror perfect duplication. Iron gall ink. The best place to find some would be in the Arlington Library, which is why I have been unable to do this myself. Okay, where is the Arlington Library? After all, I can't abandon these fortifications. Uh, all right, I guess I'll go to the Arlington Library and get some iron gall ink for you. Excellent. Please hasten back. There's no telling how much longer we can hold here at the fort. I hear the thumping of the cannonade getting closer by the minute. Soon our walls will be breached, and the last bastion of the USA may fall. Okay. Um, yeah, how do I get to the Arlington Library? The journey will be rife with peril. Of I'm course afraid. it will be. I'm used to that. You cross Farmer Smith's cornfield and make your way up Greenleaf Hill. Ford your way across Quick Run Creek and make for the horse path. What? <laughs> when the pines thin out, you need to make your way along the edge of Arlington. Watch out for redcoats. They have a garrison <laughs> there. The building across from the fish market is the library. Look for the old clock tower. Okay. Um, <clears throat> how did you end up here? I'm afraid until I know exactly what your intentions are, I can't divulge that top secret information. I see. Okay. Um, what, uh, I have a few questions about the Declaration. Oh, very well. There's no harm in that. It's one of the questions. Uh, did, did he, he already told us that he did, but what does he have to say about it? Yes. <clears throat> I was proud to participate in the signing of the Declaration of Independence along with 55 of my fellow freedom fighters. Okay. It was an honor to have my signature among those <clears throat> of Benjamin Franklin, Thomas Jefferson, and John Adams. And John Hancock. Except maybe for Hancock, <laughs> that show-off. <laughs> uh, what's the history behind the document? On July 4th, 1776, the Second Continental Congress declared that the original 13 colonies of America were now free and independent states. Okay. This paper stated their intentions to sever all ties with the monarchy in Great Britain and operate as an independent nation. Okay. It's perhaps the single most important document in United States history. Uh, let me ask you something else. Very well. Any other facts you can share about the Declaration? The colony of New York abstained from the Declaration and then later declared its own independence on July 9th, 1776. Okay. Uh, what else did you know about the Declaration? The Declaration of Independence wasn't fully signed by all of the delegates until August 2nd, 1776. Okay. Anything else? The Lee Resolution, enacted two days earlier, was the actual Independence Declaration. Oh, okay. The declaration itself was an expansion of that resolution for public consumption. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, all right. I've not yet begun to fight. Yeah, you keep saying that. Maybe you should begin to fight, except for don't aim your weapons at me when you do. Uh, okay, so I guess we need to go find some iron gall ink in the Arlington Semin uh, Seminary. Sem uh, Jesus. Library. And does the quest stealing in it retrieve Declaration of Independence from National um, <clears throat> bring 
button there. Okay, so if we do a show location. Oh, okay, so it looks like it's way over that way. Gotcha. All right, well, I guess that kind of brings us to a bit of a, a standstill with this particular quest until we can go get that ink. If, if I can take this stuff, I will, because he doesn't seem to mind. Microfusion cell. Buttons wig? What, what does that do? Uh, oh my god, look at that. Plus five barter, intellect, and speech? Are you kidding me? Wow. Okay, so we could wear Buttons wig with Naughty Nightwear. Uh, and that means we could be very convincing. <laughs> Jeez. Wow. That's just... I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. <laughs> um, all right, Sydney. Well, here's the thing. You're really... I mean, I'm not... Don't mean to sound use... You know, mean or anything, but you're kind of fucking useless. <laughs> so, what well, I want you to do is I want you... Oh, actually, yeah, what do you think about this guy? Look, if you think you can reason with him, go right ahead. My advice? Blow its damn head off. It's obviously malfunctioning. I don't disagree with that, but... Yeah, let's just... Either way, I'll let you decide. Anything that gets us closer to the prize is fine by me. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, you stay here and you keep button company until I get back, okay? Yep, don't go too far. Well, I can't promise that. Back off. Oh, will she attack him? She still has my stim pack. I want, I want my stim pack. All right, you hang out with button. Wait a second. I told you to stay there. Whatever. Okay. So, what we need to do now is we need to go. Hmm. Does that encumber me if I pick that up? No, it doesn't. I know it's got a bad VW, but those are actually really good weapons. Maybe I could fix it up and then sell it for a shit ton of money. With my own repair kits. Uh, let's see. Next thing we need to do is go get that dish up on the Washington Monument. I would like to, just for the hell of it, though. I would like to see. Uh, we couldn't get through this door, right? No, we need science. Where does this other door... What a nut job. Is this just another way we can Oh frick hey. no more. That must just be another way we can go. Way on a few So, is she... <laughs> okay. <laughs> For a moment there, when I was approaching, it looked like she had the wig on. Yeah. Just, just, I don't know, never mind. Uh, I'm not drunk, I promise. <clears throat> um, well, maybe what we could do is go crawl through this side uh, when we come back. But I'm close to being encumbered, so... The thing is, is, is she going to... Is she going to stay here? Or is she going to want to follow me all over the place? Because I don't necessarily want her following me all over the place. Let's just see what happens when we leave the building altogether. That robot's brain is scrambled. Um, what part of stay here do you not understand? What's up? Oh, how do I get to Arlington? Oh, I know where that is. 
Here, let me punch it into your Pip Boy map. Okay, it's already in there, but thanks, anyways. Um, can you wait here? Yep. Don't go too far. Is it going to be one of those things where if I get too far, she teleports to me? Or will she stay there? All right, guys. Um, long story short, she continued following me when I, you know, when I, I would go somewhere else, like, you know, leave a cell. And so I think. The declaration gonna... is in the safe. I just know it. Okay, I, I think what we need to do is finish out this quest because I don't want her following me around and I don't want to mess things up. So let's just take her with us. I'm getting so drunk when we get paid for this. <laughs> yeah, you and me both. Uh, okay, so the problem I have at the moment, though, of course, is that I'm super encumbered. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to take the mole hole back to... Actually, we're going to take it to Great Itch so that way I can turn in the quest for Brian... And then we'll just, I'll just walk to Megaton from there because it's not very far. And, you know, offload all of our stuff and then go from there. So let's head back over. Oh, got a new, is that? Wait, didn't we already kill that guy? He look, he looks dead. Why is it giving me red crosshairs, though? All right. See, the, the other bad thing about her hanging out with me is she's going to screw up my stealth. Oh, shit. We got Talon again? We just killed them fuckers. Unbelievable. All right. Sydney, these guys are very, very dangerous. You should go find cover, because I can't protect you and me at the same time. Um, how are we going to do this? Let's approach them from a different angle here. Whoa, now. Be careful with that thing. We'll put a frag mine there. And one right here. And then we'll get up to here and... See if we can take these guys out. Okay, he's the only one I can see at the moment. Good riddance. Oh, he's firing on us already. Okay, he's down. Okay. Let's get around the corner here. And let the mines hopefully take care. Take out that second guy. Oh, now he's on caution. There you are. Hmm. He might not. Okay. That takes care. Of better him than me. All right. So I'm guessing that it was just the two soldiers and the robot this time. Maybe. Not a good idea. All right. Let's see. This is going to be interesting. I'm going to take what I want to take, and then, yeah, that range master's in good shape. The Watts pistol, not so much. The armor's in terrible shape. Finger. Oh, right. We can do those, those bounty hunting quests now. Okay, I'm not taking that stuff. But we're encumbered now, so let's just look at VWs and whatnot. Um, this, we're going to have to ditch the combat shotgun again, unfortunately. This has a pretty bad VW, so let's ditch that, and we're still three pounds over. That's got a 23.5, that's got a 12.9, let's ditch that too. Okay, and that gives us... Four pounds to spare. P 
because the robot's going to probably have scrap electronics, which we definitely want. And plus, we got this guy over here, too, with whatever he's got. Just in case that robot wasn't with him, let's be careful in case there's a third. See, Sydney, this is what you got to look forward to if you're going to hang out with me. So you probably don't want to hang out with me. I'm going to say that's probably all of them. Okay, we want that. That looks like it's probably worth a little something. That's worth a little something. It was the lever action rifle. Oh, no, that's only 6.3 VW. All right, nah, not so much. This Talon combat armor is 9.3 I mean, it's got a low value to weight ratio, but it's still 112 caps. But we just can't. Yeah, we can't take it. I mean, I, it's possible that I could come back and pick it up later and take it with us for selling somewhere else. Um, that I want. Well, we'll take all of this stuff, actually. And that didn't. Yeah, that didn't over encumber us. Okay, good. All right, guys, so yeah, I'm going to take the mole hole back to Megaton. Uh, no, wait, sorry. We're going to go to Great Itch first. Let's do that so we can finish the Brian quest and get him into a safer location. And then I'm just going to walk to Megaton from there. So he said, I believe he said he was going to be in his house, which is one of these houses over here. I think maybe that house. Yeah, Wilkes house. Let's do a quick save here. There he is. Good, he's still alive. I hope you found me a place to live. I sure did, Brian. Ferris said she'd take you in. You really found her? Oh, thank you so much. You're so welcome. I can't believe everything you've done for me. Most people would have kept on walking when I ran up to them screaming like I did. Yeah, you're probably right. I'll get my stuff together and move on out there right away. Come visit me sometime. Are you sure you don't want me to escort you there? Guess that means no. All right, so here's here's the reality of this situation. Um, I would escort him there, <laughs> but I guess we'll have to just pretend that that's what happened. Um, but yay, we finished the quest. Okay, so next time we go to Rivet City, we should expect to find him there. Very good. All right, guys, I think we're going to go ahead and wrap up the episode here. This is a good stopping point. Um, and so what I will do is go home get uh you know get everything sold and get repaired get rested hydrated all that kind of stuff and then in the next episode i will meet you guys back at the capitol building and we will go to the washington monument uh at that point so thanks everybody for watching hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did please hit that like button subscribe to the channel leave a comment share the video and don't ever forget that when you wear buttons wig and naughty nightwear you can convince people of anything nowhere to lie